While racing up steep chutes has become very popular in Western Canada, hosting an organized hill climb hasn't been done in almost a decade. That changed last season when the Western Canada Hill Cross Organization decided to bring this event back to Revelstoke Mountain Resort. Got into sled in 2011. Uh, my friend Timber Metcalf got me into uh, watching Jackson Hole at Rimshaw and instant addiction. And I've, we've been wondering for years why there wasn't one. And actually, I was, we were unaware up until this year that there was a previous league before us. And the goal is just to uh, grow the sport, I guess, rebuild it, bring some amateurs in, and eventually in time, if we can be a feeder league for Rimshaw, that would be golden. I talked to uh, a local snowmobile shop uh, in, 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 in September or October, and uh, he, he mentioned that the, this would be a neat venue for uh, an uphill sort of snowmobile race. And I said, that's great. Uh, we can do it at the end of the season when, when the resort's closed down. We've got the hotel, we've got the venue up here. Why not do it? So it was an opportunity that we just uh, couldn't pass up. For the racers, having this event back was long overdue. Oh, this is awesome. It's steep, It's there's big holes, it's good weather, warm, so yeah, I think this is a real good, great event and uh, it's going to grow and more people, more better, bring in some more juniors and amateurs and grow the event and make it happen, so Canada needs to have these races going on and support them, and so it's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's fun. It's a little different from the drag racing circuits I'm used to, but it's a good time. I like the style of it. There's turns, there's jumps, there's uh, some complicated areas that near the top that I find the challenges make it fun. I think it's really cool that they brought the hill cross or hill climb back to Western Canada. And it's been a man, it's probably more than a decade since they've had racing, and I think they got some pretty good venues online. And for the first time here in Revelstoke. They did a really good job for the snow that they had um, left over. It's been a really quick melt so far this year. And uh, they all around have done really, really good job. For event organizers and racers, they are already looking ahead to the future. Next season right now, we haven't set it in stone, but uh, we're in talks with these guys at uh, the Revelstoke Mountain Resort. Rob Elliott, the general manager, is going to be on board with us doing season opener here in November, preseason uh, of skiing, and then one event a month is where we're going to try and tee off for the winter, and then March we might run one, possibly two events in April. We're going to try and run three, maybe four. Well, um, you know, definitely some corporate support from all the manufacturers and whatnot. But I think from what I'm seeing so far in the first two events, there's been tremendous um, support from the riders and the communities themselves. So um, I think it's really a great opportunity for a lot of, um, a lot of companies and manufacturers to, uh, to get on board to showcase their product. Even some riders who are more comfortable in the backcountry came out to give this race a try. Well, I've always been interested in hill climbing. We usually go to Boulder and climb the chutes there, so I just thought I'd try something different. Um, climbing hills, yes. Uh, racing up the side of a hill and going through a course, no. It'll be my first time trying it, so I'll give it my best. Hopefully, make it to the top. Well, it's definitely different. Like, uh, it's nice to come up for a weekend and, and try something new. Um, it's absolutely different. I mean, we're in the backcountry riding POW, and this is a set course with ruts, slush, rocks, dirt, gates that you have to make. So it's pretty fun, though. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm going to do it again next year. After 10 years on the shelf, everyone we talked to gave kudos to the event organizers. Really want to thank all the guys that that helped put on the event, you know, it's, it's a pretty thankless job that they have and nobody really sees, nobody really sees behind the scenes of how much work it takes and preparation it takes to put on an event and very few people understand that so I just want to say thanks to those guys, everybody, the Western Hill Climb Association, Revelstoke Snowmobile Club, Revelstoke Mountain Resort, all those guys. If going for the top is on your wish list, you can contact the Western Canadian Hillcross Association for race dates and venues.